All right, welcome to tutorial number seven. Uh, this is actually a continuation of the previous tutorial number six, uh, which if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go back to it uh, uh, and uh, and watch it prior to watching this one. Or in fact, actually watch all of my tutorials since I kind of go uh, from the basics kind of into more and more kind of advanced techniques with, uh, with each tutorial. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we're basically going to continue doing color correction on this music video that I'm working. So on this this night night version of, of the shot, um, I'm kind of happy with uh, with what I was able to really achieve uh, there right there on the set. Um, I guess what I kind of what I do want to just change is I, I want to make it even more drastic, even more kind of uh, kind of kind of just dramatic, I guess, looking kind of more stylized. Uh, so I want to kind of just you know black out all of this, just crash all those blacks there. Um, uh, so you don't see any of it, and also, um, yeah, just kind of just play around more with the with the with the levels. But uh, overall, the the colors of it, I'm, I'm okay. So again, I'm gonna go to my video effects, adjust levels. I'll drag and drop it onto the clip, and then I'm gonna play around with it up here. Uh, levels. Click the settings for it. And uh, I'll just crash it a lot, and then I'll take the mid tones and kind of bring them back up. Maybe then too much there. Uh, there maybe a little too much. Like that okay. And one thing you'll notice is whenever you basically increase the contrast in your shot. The saturation goes up too, so it's good practice then to kind of, uh, unless you really want these kind of crazy popping colors, but if you don't want that, then you can go to your again color cor correction tools and pick the um, color balance HLS, which stands for hue, lightness, and then saturation. And uh, basically, here we'll just take the saturation. And just kind of tone it down, so it looks a bit more realistic and uh, a bit less jarring. And that's it. And that's pretty much maybe uh, maybe I desaturated too much. Maybe to like 40, so you can still see the blue in there. It's not too 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 bluish. And this is how it looked before, and this is how it looks after. So before. And after, so this kind of makes the shot look more dramatic. All right, I'll show you guys one more example, which is this uh, shot up here. This is actually from a documentary that I shot recently in uh, South America. It's in, in Ecuador on the coast of the Pacific, uh, about this little little surfing town called Montañita. You can check out the trailer by following the link, or, or you can you can find the link in the description of this video. Uh, basically, this shot is uh, it's, it's like you know, I guess most of the time when you're shooting documentaries, you're just out there in real locations, so you don't really have the luxury of uh, of doing any kind of set design or or, uh, or art direction. So in this case, it's just n neutral kind of colors and just one surfer out there just kind of relaxing in the water. Uh, but I knew that I, I wanted to get this kind of a nice, almost 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 a sunset kind of a, a look to this shot. Uh, it was just kind of nice because you know usually the water was crowded with other surfers, and I happened to get this one guy all alone in the water in the waves. So I took that opportunity and I shot into the sun. So the, sh the sun is kind of uh, above the camera, slightly to the left, and I underexposed the shot on purpose because I knew I wanted it to be kind of darker, and I just wanted to get a bit of those kind of reflective highlights in the water and the ripples. And uh, and then uh, now in post, I'm gonna just gonna change the colors to kind of make it look like it's actually taking place during uh, during a sunset. So again, we'll go to video effects. Uh, we'll go to color correction. Uh, take our three-way color corrector, drag and drop it onto the shot. And um, here's what we'll end up doing. So. Uh, go down here to our colors, and I'll basically first make the the mid tones just kind of 
just brownish, kind of reddish, kind of point like that. Uh, the shadows, maybe I'll counter it so that not everything is so red. Kind of pull it a bit more towards blues. Yeah, like that. And then, uh, I'll add a bit more gain to the midtones. And then the highlights, I'll make them a very kind of golden looking. So, like that. Uh, there. See, it kind of right away makes it look nice. Then I'm also going to go to the master channel here. And I'm going to overall just take the whole shot and kind of make it look reddish. Uh, a bit, add a bit more gain to it. There. Uh, take away some of the gain. Uh, add to it. Yeah, there. Something like that. A bit warmer. And um, and then the last thing I'll do is uh, again quickly add uh, my levels. Drag and drop the levels, click on the settings, and I want to kind of make it even more dramatic, so I'll really kind of crush the blacks uh, like that. And overall, I'll pull the mid midtones to the right side to kind of darken the shot. And see this right there. And that kind of makes the shot right away look like it's, uh, like it's, uh, you know, like it was filmed during the, the, the evening or sunset hours. This is before how it looked. And this is the after, so you can see the big difference. And here I'll show you another example. This is a shot for the same documentary that I did. Uh, just kind of shot neutral and very flat. If you notice, there's a lot of details in the shadows and highlights. It's uh, my settings in the camera. Uh, when, whenever I'm shooting something, especially documentaries, where I don't know really what my final effect is going to be, and I want to have more control and, 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 and information and post and then I'll just shoot the image kind of very flat looking like like here and so now I kind of just want to I'm happy overall with the shot but I just want to add some warmth to it really make it look like it was you know it, it's it's in a hot kind of a tropical place so again I'll go to my three-way color cor corrector drop it into the shot go to my highlights add some um, so I'm just kind of golden reflections in there, the highlights, or something like that. Take the midtones to add some warmth, and then I'm going to take the shadows though and add a bit more blue to it. Just uh, something like that, maybe too much. Yeah, a bit more greenish looking, and uh, and then I'm also going to again take my levels. And just add some contrast back into the shot since I, I purposely shot it looking kind of very flat. So go maybe something like this. Not too drastic, but you know. Uh, something like that, maybe. And um, then you can go back in, adjust the, the highlights there, get them looking high. I want this is almost too, too kind of greenish. So take some warmth like that. Uh, that's good. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I was looking for. Uh, so this is how it looked before. This is the after. As you can see, without the levels, it's kind of looking a bit flat. With the levels, it just adds some more contrast to the shot. So it's a nice looking shot now. So as you can see, you don't really need any some any fancy plugins or anything like that. Just use standard uh, three-way color co corrector, which is pretty much identical to what the uh, DaVinci Suite has, other than the fact that it's uh, DaVinci Suite is all hardware-driven and it has you know actual knobs and things like that that you can do in real time. Uh, but at the core of it, I guess the controls are the same. So it's the same kind of techniques that they that they're using on big-budget films, uh, music videos, and um, and uh, yeah, it's simple little adjustments, but they make a big difference. And and another thing I guess you should keep in mind is it's good to always do different versions, kind of just play around, try different things, and uh, and you know, and then test them out on a, on a TV, big screen TV or something, and, and see what what they think. And uh, and then go back in, keep on adjusting the shot back and forth until you get it looking the way that uh, that you think it should be looking. And uh, 
and uh, just have fun with it. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, stay next. Uh, stay uh, stay tuned for the next one.